Hey guys, so I know my face looks kind of busted right now, but uh, I just got back from practice, so that's why I'm wearing my tank top and my hair is like all crazy and in a ponytail. So today I wanted to make a video on how to keep your hands and nails looking nice during the winter, because I know during meat season, um, it's during the winter, so your hands are going to be naturally dry and cracked from the dry air, plus gymnastics just really dries your hands out because you get chalk on your hands and you have calluses and all of that stuff, um, plus you can't paint your nails during meat season, and if you do, you have to take it off immediately and the nail polish remover just kills your nails so um, yeah this video will hopefully help you um, kind of keep your nails and hands looking really nice and healthy for meat season so let's get into the video okay to start out just make sure you wash your hands to get any dirt out from under your fingernails or um, between your fingers because you want to make sure you start off with really clean hands for this Next, take an exfoliating scrub. You can either make one or buy one for really cheap. And just gently wash your hands with it in warm water. You don't want to scrub too hard because um, since it is an exfoliant, it can kind of cut and scratch your hands and you don't want that. You just want to get rid of all the dry skin. So make sure you massage it around the especially dry areas, but be very gentle. After that, start filing your nails. If your nails are especially long or ragged, Make sure you cut them, but mine weren't too bad, so I just filed them to kind of help smooth them down and shape them nicely. Next, take a really moisturizing hand or body lotion. I used this really nice Shea one from the Body Shop, and get quite a bit of it and just massage it really, really well into your hands. Even if you got a lot, that's okay. Make sure you get it all into your hands because you want your hands to soak up all of that moisture. If you want, you can use a little bit of Vaseline on your hands. This stuff is optional, um, but if you have any spots on your knuckles or fingers, or if your cuticles are kind of dry or you have a lot of hangnails, you can just massage a little bit of this in and it'll really, really help moisturize those spots. Okay, now that your cuticles are all moisturized, uh, start pushing them back gently. If you have a cuticle pusher or a cuticle trimmer, you can use that. I just didn't have one, so I was very, very gently pushing back my cuticles. Um, you don't want to push them back too much because that can cause hangnails and you don't want to cut your cuticles because it's a very sensitive area of skin. This step is again optional, but if your hands are just really, really dry, you can massage some more lotion into them and then take a pair of thin gloves like these and wear them overnight and it'll just help the lotion soak into your hands. Alright, so I hope you guys liked that video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you want to see any more videos, if you can relate to this, or if you just have any questions for me. Remember, I'm going to be doing a Q&A really, really soon, so if you have any questions, make sure you go comment them on my Instagram, at petite underscore gymnast, or down below, or on any of my old videos if you want to. As always, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below to become a part of my channel and help me reach my goal of 200 subscribers. I still want to reach that goal even though we kind of missed our deadline but that's okay um, I still want to re reach my goal so if you guys can help me please 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 subscribe it'll only take a few seconds and then you can watch all of my incredible videos all right so I hope you guys like today's video I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in my next video bye